to Pine Grove Furnace State Park and to the grand opening of the Appalachian Trail Museum. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, God, Jehovah, maker of all things, we, your people of many denominations and faith communities, are gathered here as hikers, naturalists, conservationists, families and volunteers to participate in the Appalachian Trail Museum dedication. We know you by many a name, but our need remains the same. Hear this our prayer. Be with us in all that we do. Open our hearts and our minds to your will. Guide all of us with your gentle hand that we might better live as your people here on earth. It's been said that any journey begins with that first step and it continues by placing one foot in front of the other. May today's celebration and dedication be the beginning of further and continued journeys for each of us on this great and national walking path that was begun so many years ago. And in closing, we are thankful for the many volunteers who have given of their time, given of their talent, sweat, and financial resources to support this endeavor. May this museum become a focal point for anyone who loves the outdoors, as well as anyone who supports the Appalachian Trail now and in the years to come. Amen. 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 Thank you. Have Jason Zimmerman uh, be acknowledged. He's, he's the manager of this park. The reason why we're here today is, is because of him and, and, you know, just coordinating all these things. So I just wanted to especially point him out. As I said, we're going to you're going to hear a lot about volunteers today. And I have a few uh, figures to throw out at you, just a few that only a, uh, an, account, an accountant could love, our treasurer. Our first look at a museum several years ago, we hired a consultant and he envisioned a phase one facility about the same square footage that we have now at the old mill here with an estimated cost of $525,000. Because of the volunteers, we just barely cracked spending $50,000 to open this. Along, along those lines, we had um, a few adventurous souls, all volunteers, all hikers, who, who wanted to uh, do something special for today and hike here to the ceremony. They, they call it the hike to history. And um, maybe if the, after all that walking, I, I forget how many miles it was. Six, six, six miles, okay. Um, not too bad, but pretty good for the morning. If you uh, wouldn't mind standing and just taking a bow, we had people from 11 states take part in this. Volunteer theme uh, continues. Almost everybody uh, associated with this project over the years has made a special effort to be here today. And all those others of you who are here, you know, to take part in the opening ceremony, you're important to the museum too. So I want to just do something real quick that I saw when the Ed Garvey shelter was dedicated. I want everybody who first, everybody who volunteered in some way or another to work on this museum to raise your hand. Okay. Now, keep them raised. Keep them raised up. I want everybody who, who came here today to take part to also raise your hand. Okay. I want you to take your hand and reach behind you and pat yourself on the back. Okay. You deserve it. They, they say Damascus is the friendliest trail town. I think from this day forward that Pine Grove Furnace will be the friendliest state park on the AT. And our, 
our main speaker today is the, the secretary of the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. And in other words, he is Jason's Uber boss. <laughs> so I want to introduce you to John Quigley. Good morning, everybody. Uber boss. I wonder if I can get my title changed to that. Uh, welcome to Pine Grove Furnace State Park, which is part of the best state park system in the United States of America. And I'm not just saying that. We actually won an award last October from the National Recreation and Park Association. We were designated as the best managed state park system in the country. I want to thank Larry Luxemburg, the president of the AT Trail Museum, uh, without whom we would not be here today. Twelve years ago, Larry decided that we were going to have this museum. And he has, and he and all of you, the, the amazing number of hands that went up, all of the volunteers that made today a reality, uh, you have given this commonwealth, you have given this country a gift. And I want to thank you for that very much. Today is, is important for a number of reasons. It is a day of firsts. Uh, the centerpiece of this, of this museum is the Earl Schaefer Shelter. Earl was the first person to walk the entire Appalachian Trail in one continuous trip. So a Pennsylvanian was the first to walk the AT, uh, stem to stern. And now we have the honor here in Pennsylvania of, of having the first hiking museum in the United States of America. That is something to be very proud of. And of course, it is National Trails Day. So you're all here in, in, uh, in, in pretty good time, and I hope everybody enjoyed the Six Mile Walk this morning. So today is a day of first, but today is, is a lot more than that. Today is, is about three other things. It's about history, it's about vision, and it's about legacy. Now, 89 years ago, Benton McKay proposed the idea of the Appalachian Trail. And thanks to the efforts of literally thousands and, and maybe even countless numbers of, of individuals, volunteers, many of whom are with us today, uh, we now have a 2,100 mile trail. Uh, there's about 10% of that in Pennsylvania, but we have a, a, a glorious natural resource, an outdoor rec recreation resource, a way to connect people to conservation, to the natural resources, to the outdoors. That, what a tremendous gift and what tremendous vision Benton McKay had 89 years ago. We're also surrounded by a state forest, the Michaud State Forest. And that forest was assembled, it started to be assembled 100 years ago by some very visionary people like Gifford Pinchot, who saw that Pennsylvania and indeed the world needed to conserve its natural resources. It had an obligation to connect people to those natural resources and to pass those resources down to generations yet unborn. And it's thanks to the vision of people like Pinchot and those who followed him that we have this glorious Michaud State Forest around us. And today we work to continue that legacy. We, we continue to acquire land. We work to, to burnish the jewel that we have in our state park system. We at DCNR work very hard to connect people to conservation, to the outdoors, to outdoor recreation. We embrace the importance of trails. In fact, we build and help build sustainable communities around this state who see the value of things like trails. Now, Pennsylvania is only a small part of the Appalachian Trail. We have about 10% of the miles. Uh, Pine Grove is a small part of a much bigger picture. We're in, in the Michaud Forest is part of a much bigger landscape, but we're all part of a bigger whole. And that maybe is why the Appalachian Trail is so important. Because it, it winds through this country. It shows us, as we walk the trail, that we are part of something much bigger than ourselves. We're part of a greater whole. And it challenges us. Not only it, it inspires us, certainly. It makes us healthier. Uh, maybe wears out some boots, especially in Pennsylvania. I'm told we have some of the ruggest, most rugged terrain. So it challenges, it expires, it invigorates, but it also calls to mind our responsibility. Every single one of us 
has a responsibility to Benton McKay, to Gifford Pinchot, to the people who founded the conservation movement in Pennsylvania 100 years ago. We have an obligation to our kids, to our grandchildren, and to, and to generations yet unborn to make sure that this glorious hole that the Appalachian Trail winds its way through will remain and be available and be accessible to future generations. So this trail, as you walk it, not only is it just a wonderful experience, but it, it calls to mind the challenge that we all face. What will the exhibits in the Appalachian Trail Museum be 50 years from now? And who are the people who are going to make those exhibits and that history possible? What kind of commitment will it take to make sure that there is an Appalachian Trail 50 years from now? What will the exhibits in this museum be 50 years from now? What will our conservation legacy be? Will we be er the worthy heirs of Benton McKay? Will, or will we let him down? Will we let our grandchildren down? That is the challenge that I think we all face. Uh, we all have an obligation as citizens to, to take part in public affairs, to be concerned about our environment, to take a stand for the environment. So let's take inspiration from this glorious trail. Let's take inspiration from this museum. Let's recommit ourselves to our own conservation legacy, to our own outdoor legacy, to a glorious environmental future where pristine lands and clean air and clean water continues to be a birthright for every citizen of this country. That is an, a noble challenge. That is one that we all need to embrace. And the fact that you are all here today gives me great hope uh, that 50 years from now, when my grandchildren come here, they will see the exhibits that you have made possible. So I want to thank you for your inspiration, for your leadership, for your commitment, for your service, and for walking the trail with us. Thank you.